What's up everyone? My name is Colas Angeles and today I will be showing you how to replace your refrigerator filter using the Pure Line Refrigerator Water Filter hash PL400. If you want to know how to change your refrigerator filter, stay tuned. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get the latest updates on anything that I upload in my channel. Okay, so let's go! The first thing you need to do is to check what filter you are going to use for your refrigerator. It will help if you can check what the model number of your refrigerator is. So we have a Whirlpool refrigerator and usually the, the model number is written inside the refrigerator. So if you open this one, ours is located here. Okay? Don't forget to check your model number before buying anything on Amazon or any filter for that matter. Typically, your refrigerator should be smart enough to tell you that you need to order a filter. This one. Usually, filters last for around six months. And as an indicator, it will tell you when to order the filter. So about two, three weeks ago, we got a notice from this refrigerator telling us to order the filter. So right there and then, we ordered the filter. You have a few options on what filters you can buy. So there is a manu manufacturer's filter, meaning Realpool themselves are the ones supplying the filter. But also, there are third-party filters that you can buy, which is a lot more cheaper. Than, uh, than what the manufacturer is offering. So we opted for that one. Again, it all boils down to your model number. Once you have the model number of your refrigerator, you can head out either to your local store or, or order it online. We ordered ours using Amazon, so that's what I will be showing you. So go to Amazon.ca, type in the model number. Our model number is WRF555SDHB and then I just added the water filter. Typically, you can remove the last three letters or last three to five numbers and letters of the model number and you'll still get the relevant result for this one. What we bought is the Pure Line water filter. It comes in packs of three. If you want to learn more about this, I will be putting the, li the link in the description below. But what you'll want to see if your model number is really in here. Okay, so I'm just looking for real pull. And as you can see, there's, there is the WRF555S. This one is just writing DHV00. But what, as, what I have said, you can just stop at 555S. Usually, this last five letters and numbers just represents the color and the other permutations of the same model. After a few weeks, you'll get the other notice telling you to replace the actual filter. So that's, that's the time that you will or you should replace your filter. Typically, if you put, if you try pressing that water uh, outlet in there, it will tell you to replace the filter, like the one, the red message in here. Okay, so let's get started and replace the filter. Once you have your filter, like this one, you can open it and check what's inside. So this one has three filters inside, as you can see. This bundle has three filters inside. And if you get one filter, this is how the filter looks like. Okay. It is a plastic uh, protection for the filter itself. Then you, ha you have to remove it, remove the plastic. And then once you are ready to install it, there's another ins instruction here saying, remove before installation. So you have to remove this before before installing it. And you have to locate where your filter is located. Ours is located in there, as you can see, right there. So empty the spot where the filter needs to be replaced, okay? My wife buys a lot of butter. See, all of that for butters. 
and some cream cheese. All right, now that you've cleared it up, it depends on your model, but for our refrigerator, we just have to press this button and it will go down like this. Oh, sorry, this one. You just have to press this button and it will go down. See, that's the original filter right there that you need to replace and remove. So this one is a bit tricky to remove. Um, typically, you just have, usually you just have to pull it down like this, right? But if it's pushed so far up in there, you might need to use force to pull it down. This. In fact, you might need two hands. Now, now I can remove it. <laughs> there. So, yeah, that was a bit hard. So, it's like this. So, you can pull it down like that. Okay, so we just have to twist it. Supposedly, you just have to twist it like this. As you see, there's an arrow in there telling you to rotate. What's that? Counterclockwise. So let me try. I don't know why this one is there. It's a bit hard, actually. See? There. So this is how the filter looks like. See that? Yeah, there, there's a bit of water inside, so let me just drain it first and then I'll show it to you. If you have a sink nearby, you can drain it. See, there is still water inside this one. It's a bit heavy because of the water. Oh, there's no more. All right. And then be ready to dispose it. So this is one that, that, one that was given to us by, by, by the manufacturer for free, right? So after six months, we have to replace them. At most six months, we have to replace them. And this is the new one that I got, which is the Pure Line Refrigerator Water Filter. So the instructions here is that, um, it's too long, <laughs> but in order for you to, able to, to, to attach this, you have to remove this one, Let's remove it. So there is the filter right there. This is the filter cartridge that you need to put in your refrigerator. So let's try putting it in. Okay, so what you'll want to do is to put in the hole in there, aligning to the to the blue thing in there, and then you rotate clockwise to lock it. Okay, let's try. So I will rotate it clockwise until it stops. Okay, so now it is safely in there. All I have to do is to close this one. And that's done. Okay. Put it in there. Done. After you have put in the filter, the instruction says that you have to run the water from the dispenser for about 6 to 8 minutes or about 3 to 4 gallons to clear the system and prevent spottering. So that's what I will do. I can't find any bigger container than this, so I'll probably run it for around 6 to 8 minutes. This one probably is... That's the same. Let's go. haven't really noticed but the water as you can see it's a bit dirty right I'm not sure if it's because of the filter right so I'm gonna research about it but the water is a bit dirty then I'm gonna throw this off round two round two still a little bit Dirty, but not as bad as the first one. Third round. Let's see. It's 
it's a bit clearer now. Yeah, this one is looking definitely better than the first three ones. Fifth round! Now it's clear. It is clear. It is clear. After doing it for five times, this is the sixth one and the last one. I hope I have done a great job cleaning the filter up. So this is the last one. As you can see, I'm not sure if you can see, it's super clear now. I hope the filter is doing its job, but this is the last one, last drain that I will be doing. The last and final step is to reset the filter. If your refrigerator is like ours, there should be an option here telling you to do a filter reset. So let me try that one out. I'm gonna press it. All right. You see, there's that sound. As you can see, the replace filter is not there anymore. Probably it will give us another, um, another warning or message after six months. So overall, I feel that I was able to replace it successfully. This is the first time that I am doing it. So I think it was successful. Let's check inside if it, the water is not dripping from the filter. Looks like it is not dripping. Okay, so the last thing you need to do is to not get in the fridge but for you to put back what you have removed. Close it, and we're done. That's it. So if I think I was successful in replacing our refrigerator filter for the first time, and note that this is not a paid product review. What I do is I look for cheaper alternatives from what the manufacturer is offering, just because sometimes they are just 66 to 60 to 70% cheaper than the original one, but still doing the job that they are supposed to do. Note though, that there are times where in the manufacturer might void the warranty, so you have to be wary about that. For the next one and a half years, we have our filter supplied. If you like what you saw, click that subscribe button so that you can get the latest updates on my content. Until the next DIY slash product review video, see you soon.